My mom recently switched over to TPO Mobile, and along the way, she ran into some issues. One of which being she accidentally ported our home phone number to TPO instead of her mobile number. Now, this isn't her fault. This is actually an error on the TPO Mobile website. So I'm making this video to show you seven steps on how to successfully port your mobile number to TPO Mobile. Step one is to go to tpo.com slash activate and enter your SIM ICC ID and your phone's IMEI. The SIM ICC ID is the really long number on the SIM card and the IMEI is an identifying number of your phone which can most likely be found in your phone's settings. Step two is to select which plan you want. At the time of recording this video, plans are currently 50% off and this promotion will last until July 1st. Step three is to sign up for a TPO mobile account. Step four is to click, yes, I really wanna keep my existing number. Step five is to enter all of the information required to port your number. This information is from the bill of your current provider. Some things to note are your mobile number and your account number are not always the same. I know for some carriers they are the same, like for US mobile, but for AT&T, which is the carrier my mom was porting out of, your mobile number and your account number are two very different numbers. You actually need to call AT&T in order to find out what your account number is. The rest of the information should be relatively simple to find and enter. Step six, and this is the important step, is to fill out a little more info about yourself. The important thing here is under contact number, you enter the cell number you want ported. The first time my mom tried this, she entered our home phone number, which makes sense because that's the number that can be used to contact us. But somehow that was the number that got ported instead of her mobile number. So again, at this step where it says, so let's get to know you a little more at the top, you wanna make sure you enter the cell phone number you want ported in the contact number field. As it happened, the second time my mom tried signing up for TPO Mobile, everything was automatically filled out correctly. So if this is the case, just make sure to take a second and verify the contact number is the cell number you want ported. And finally, step seven is to confirm your plan and pay for your service. Once that is done, your device should activate and your number should be successfully ported to TPO Mobile. It took about 30 seconds for my mom's AT&T number to be successfully ported from AT&T to TPO Mobile. The time it takes your mobile number to port will vary depending on what cell carrier you currently have. So that wraps up this video. Those are the seven steps required to successfully port your number from your previous provider to TPO Mobile. If you are considering signing up for TPO Mobile, my mom would greatly appreciate it if you would consider using her referral link posted in this video description. When you use her link to sign up, both you and she will receive $10 of account credit, which is a pretty great deal. Again, consider using her referral link in this video description when you sign up. So that wraps up this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.